Good morning. Today is the day we head out to Virginia for my friend Bashir's wedding. Tomorrow's a wedding, and then on Friday we have like a wedding part two, which is really cool. So everyone else is getting ready. It seems really cold out, like if I do this, you can see like the air that I breathe. So excited for your big day, Bashir, for watching this. Um, just know that I appreciate you, bro. Six and a half hours later. A few moments later. It is 12 in the morning. This Airbnb is like the best Airbnb I've ever been in. The bed is ginormous, as you can see. They got Amazon Fire Stick or Fire TV. I don't really know what they're called, but I'm watching Victorious now. Big ass zit over here, and I got a wedding to attend to tomorrow, which is crazy. Oh, I have to show you guys the bathroom. Just beautiful. And the water was so hot. I love it when the bathroom water is hot. I'm gonna show you guys more of this room tomorrow morning because it's like dark out and you can't really tell how nice the natural light is. So I'm gonna show you guys how it looks tomorrow. I'm very pleased and they have a dog here. Her name is FOMO. She's so adorable, like she loves playing fetch. She's aggressive, a little fireball, which just, my heart is so complete when I see the little girl. And the host is just super nice and super amazing. If I ever were to do like a writing retreat, this would be the best place to be to just kind of like disconnect and write because I really need that. I'm super tired. I've been on the road for like, I think, eight hours today or more. I've been sleeping in. Good morning. It's the next day and like I said, I was going to show you guys the whole get up in this Airbnb. So I'm in the bathroom right now. I guess I'll start here. Beautiful mirror, beautiful lighting here. Like, whoa. The shower is amazing. Like I said last night, they got hot water and like really good hot water, like like the temperature I love. So it's like, I also love the bathroom tiles. Um, it's like the basic, but also like very chic. I don't know if that makes sense, but let's move on. So I got Victoria still playing here. I don't know why. Over here you can see that I got three windows. One, two, three. And oh, the bed was so comfortable. Horse, I guess they're paintings, but they're like, I don't know to really call them like I think they're paintings they look like paintings they might not be paintings I don't know so comfortable like crazy comfortable this is my favorite thing about this room they got like a typewriter here which I'm pretty sure doesn't work anymore or unless it does and I just need to load paper they got like a book here they got chargers for you in case you need chargers they got a deck of cards to play with if you're bored and look at this lamp um, I've got my hat here from Minnesota, my charging, all, like, all my cables are in here. I got the wedding outfit hung here, my belt, a workstation inside a closet slash wall space. Um, they got a mini fridge here. <sighs> that nightstand, amazing. And it's pretty quiet here, like, um, I think at night there were only like a few, like, like that, if you can hear that. Like only a few cars would speed through the neighborhood and that was it. It's like every writer's dream to have a room like this. Right now I'm really inspired and really excited to start writing. So I'm gonna do that before the wedding. Um, just to kind of crunch out a few chapters maybe. This is a really nice room. I can't complain. The host is really nice. I want to show you guys a dog, but I couldn't find FOMO. I woke up at like eight, cause I got knocked out at like 2 a.m. So I was super tired and um, yesterday was just like a full day of traveling and I wasn't really like feeling myself. This is the room basically and it's so nice and okay I'm gonna get to work Around the neighborhood, I'm trying to get food. Um, I even 
do my hair because I'm just like do my hair later for the wedding and it's not until like a few hours down the line. It's such a nice day out today. N28th Street, I think that is north. I don't really know. I feel like the streets here are so different from New York and it's really nice though. Like it's so quiet here. I don't know if I do like the quiet though because I'm so used to like just busy neighborhoods and like people coming in and out but you can see that there's a church behind me there really is nothing to do here actually in uh, this part of town if I have to go to a place where there are people I'd have to go to like downtown downtown Richmond which I might do tomorrow because tomorrow is the second day of the wedding and it's not as like formal check out the road not all the sidewalks are paved, which I think is very different. It was you and me, and we were happy. There are no cars in sight. Uh, oh, there's one car, okay. There's, there's people here, okay, cool. The place that I was trying to get to was actually closed and I don't know where to go, but people are nice. Like I passed by two guys and they were saying hi to me. And I was like, you don't see that in New York, not all the time. So now I'm trying to find another place to go to for food because I'm hungry as fuck. One of the bigger issues here is that transportation here is not as convenient as New York, obviously. So wherever I go, I gotta walk but you know what's so cool is that there are certain blocks and streets and stuff where they tell you that um, it's a drug-free block and that there is a neighborhood watch which I think is kind of cool I didn't expect that um, I kind of wish New York does that You said, Why did you say all that back then? My mother said, that If you love me, you wouldn't say any of that. It was you and me when we were happy. No, miss, I it seems like I finally found civilization. However, they are all closed due to Thanksgiving, so I'm really screwed here. I've been walking for 20 minutes. It's about like a mile and a little bit more. And there are either no restaurants, no bakeries, no cafes, or that there are bakeries and cafes. However, they are closed because today is Thanksgiving. And I totally didn't even remember that because I've been traveling like on the road for a few days so like my sense of time has been really thrown off i didn't even remember that today was thanksgiving but even so it just feels like a regular thursday you know and also today is bashir's big day so that's another reason why i'm like oh you know it's not thanksgiving come to think of it it could be that it is thanksgiving and that's why it's so empty here and that no one's in the streets. Um, I'm gonna try one more place. It's called the Clay Street Market, which is just um, on Clay Street and North 30th Street, I think. I honestly don't know if these are streets or avenues. I don't know if Richmond, Virginia has avenues, but we'll find out. Ray's journey to find food, guys. It is such a struggle. The streets in Richmond are actually fairly easy to navigate walking in a grid, which is something I'm used to in New York. Um, but the problem is, they got nothing here. <sighs> Someone saved me. Oh my God, I think I finally found a place that's open. The Clay Street Market is open, guys. I am saved. I'm gonna load my bag up with so much food. It's gonna last me like two days. Watch. Oh, thank God for Clay Street Market. It was a success. That 
deli grocery place um, at the corner was open. I was able to get like a double cheeseburger with fries. Oh my god, I'm so hungry right now. I haven't eaten breakfast yet. I also got like cup noodles and chips and stuff just in case I get hungry like after the wedding or if I'm like hungry tomorrow or tomorrow night. I just gotta, you know, think ahead of the game now because now that I know that no place is open, I'm just like, um, well, I'm gonna die. I'm not gonna die out here. Yeah, I stocked up a little bit, just a little bit. And tomorrow, if I am hungry during the day before the second wedding, I will go back to this place. I told the guy, I was like, bro, you are the only place that is open right now. And you literally saved my life because I've been walking for hours. Okay, it's really windy today. I love, I love, I love. I am ready for the wedding. And as you can see, I am all dressed up, head to toe, bam. I'm gonna head out soon, called my lift. So in the meantime, I'm just gonna watch another episode of Victorious. I've been like literally just keeping this on for the whole day while I do my stuff. It's a good show, what can I say? I am so excited for the wedding. Also nervous, cause like big occasions like this gets my anxiety level real high. Just think like as um, an introvert, uh, it's just like by nature, I will always be um, a little bit nervous in big events. Um, but it's for Bashir, my homie, my brother, my bestie. So it's all good. But yeah, I hate dressing up though. Like dressing up is not my thing. I'm like a t-shirt and jeans guy. And this is so not me, but like I said, doing it for Bashir, so. Don't say I do nothing for you, bro. There's no full body mirror here, so it's really hard to like dress up. I can't really tell if like I'm on point or not. Um, I do like how my suit is fitting, but it is there is like this kind of like tail, which I'm not really a fan of. But at least I smell nice and y'all can smell it. But I got my cologne on, my Hugo Boss, you know what I'm saying? That's me right there oh you can't see me okay never mind oh also i'm actually not bringing this camera with me because bashir's fiance uh doesn't want anyone recording the event like she wants to keep everything like low key and like out of the internet <coughs> so even though i'm not gonna vlog like i'm not gonna take out my camera during the ceremony or during the um, reception. I just don't want her to feel uncomfortable with the camera being there. So that's why I'm not bringing this camera with me. I'm also going to keep this event very private. Oh, there he is! Hey, wow, look at this room! Bashir's wearing the wedding gift. Ooh, check him out, check him out. What's happening, huh? Okay, I'm back from the wedding and it is 12, 15 now. I'm gonna hop in the shower really quick to kind of just get all of this off. And then I'm gonna go straight to bed. Um, the wedding was spectacular. Like there were so many colors. It was so loud and festive and Bashir just looks so happy tonight. And his wife, um, Rua, was beautiful. Like, oh my God, the, the wedding dress was beautiful. Her accessories was just like, just gorgeous. Tomorrow, there's like a part two of the wedding, which is more informal. Do more of like the traditional style gowns. Oh, all the kids loved hanging around me. I was just minding my business, like, enjoying my meal and all the kids decided to flock over to me and just like hang around me and i'm like i mean like i'm okay with it because i love kids i'm just like is it because i look young or is it because i exude this how do i say it sometimes i feel like i put out this image that i'm very childish i think that's the word childish ayana always calls me childish so maybe that's why and that's why all the kids like to hang around me Today is my last day here, or last full day here, and I'm heading out tomorrow afternoon. I'm getting ready to head out to 
Bashir's second part of the wedding and that's like an hour away so it's gonna be a crazy ride but I'm gonna try and take the GRTC that's the I don't know what it stands for but it's the Virginian bus um, or the bus in Richmond and let me just show you guys around this um, really cool Airbnb place um, so this is the living room kitchen. This is a dining area. Pretty much it. Yeah, it's kind of bittersweet. Like, I really like this place. And I'm hoping to come back um, for like a writing retreat next time. I gotta head over to the wedding part two. And I can't stay too long because I have to come back and pack for, for my trip back to New York tomorrow. Um, and I'm not a good packer, so I need extra time to pack. just got back from wedding part two and now I have to pack up for tomorrow and be back on the road uh, I'm not looking forward to it because I hate long rides and I hate long bus rides and that's what I'm gonna have to do tomorrow and I don't even want to pack like I got all my stuff laid out I'm really settled in and I don't want to go yet like, I'm so tired, I don't even want to pack. The last thing I want right now is to think about packing. I'm gonna miss this place. I'm gonna miss FOMO. She was so cute. I am all packed up, ready to go. I'm gonna leave this really nice room. Yeah, I don't know if my hair is getting all flat. Spent like minutes working on it. And now it's like, oh, it's gonna be flat, okay? It looks fine in the mirror, what the? I guess it's just my camera. Oh wait, that's the bus. Oh, I want to show you guys the bus. Right now I'm heading to a place called Sub Rosa's and I only know about this because my Lyft driver yesterday was like, oh, you know, you live along P Street and you have to go check it out because it's like one of the best bakeries out here. And I was like, all right, I'll check it out because I got a few hours to kill before my bus and I need breakfast. And there was but this morning, like I should I should have recorded it. When I came downstairs to say bye to Gene the host, FOMO was like, oh my god. FOMO was so cute. FOMO thought that I was leaving already, so she was just like, oh she misses me. I love, I love, I love. All right, it took a while, but I finally got my breakfast. It's kind of like brunch. Like, I'm eating a lot. I got like um, pastries and croissants, and I got the host of the Airbnb some like shortbread cookies, because I don't know what they like. And I was like, I'm just gonna get them some cookies, only because like they were so nice. But yeah, I came in a to-go box. I wish they kind of gave me like a plastic bag or like some kind of bag, but I also don't feel like asking for a plastic bag because I personally don't like plastic bags but I feel like I needed a bag only because I'm gonna bring this onto the bus. I really wish I brought my tote bag on this trip. I'm so excited to try this because apparently it's supposed to be like really good. So this is what it is and they have like a gigantic brick oven. I have to pack water. I really have to get water for the trip because it's gonna be an eight hour drive non-stop. This is the Raisin croissant and then below it is the sour cherry pistachio. It's kind of like flaky and like croissant-ish. I don't really know. Oh my god, it's just like chocolate brownie with like cookie crust. And this is how it looks like. Here we go. Oh my god. This is unreal. What in the world? Mmm. It's so bad for you, but like, it tastes so good. Hey. Mmm. Oh my god. Worth it. 
worth the trip, worth the money, worth the calories. Yeah, so I might eat the rest on the bus and I'm probably not gonna vlog it, but I'll let you know if it tastes good. All right. FOMO, want the ball? Oh, you want that one, okay. Oh, come on. I can So I'm in Asado right now, and um, I'm like trying to get lunch, but also you know, just away from my bus. I'm trying to contact the bus company because I don't know where the bus stop is, so. This place reminds me of um, Calexico. So like, maybe better? She lies beside no, Calexico's better. Breath, she whispers softly Never leave this bed I don't want to lose you Or forget Cause this is more than a moment I don't want to be broken So come on baby, hold me Let me be the one I try to be deserving I promise not to run And I'll try on my mind Cause baby I need you Do you need me to? I pull you closer You kiss my neck Tracing my fingers That's when she said I don't wanna lose you So come on baby, hold me Let me be the one I try to be deserving I 